Blackwater grandfather? What the? Welcome back to We Sibs, West Coast, East Coast Siblings, where we cover your favorite movies and television. Tonight we are covering Debris episode, episode 11. I said 11 last week and it was 10. This week it really is 11. So that is what we're covering. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you want to keep up to date on all of my coverage of Debris, go ahead and click the bell so you can be notified. And uh, subscribe. Also, sorry I look a hot mess, guys. You know, actor life. What the heck are you going to do? Nice to be working. Stressful to be doing that and a YouTube channel. But it's great! Okay, let's get into Debris episode 11. I'm going to give you a review of everything that happened and then we'll talk a little bit about what I thought, how I felt about it. So in this episode, Brian and Panola have their weird chummy chummy, oh look, we're having chemistry, we're having chemistry, but not really, moment at the beginning and then they get a call saying that, uh, well one, GJ is no longer with Garcia, who he's supposed to be with. He's driven himself to Virginia, um, and I kind of missed why. I'm assuming it's to collect more pieces for the machine that he's supposed to be building. Then Brian gets a ping about a woman in Maryland who seems to have had an interaction with the debris and is now asking for Brian specifically. Brian and Vanola head over to Maryland to figure out what the heck this woman is on. And basically they find out that she is saying things like repeating important or just maybe general conversations that Brian has had uh, in his whole life. So Brian starts to like connect the dots as he's hearing her talk and then he freaks out and kind of goes into an eyes open coma. Fanola who loves him so desperately out of nowhere, you know, starts freaking out and is trying to get help and trying to figure out what's going on. Anyway, so the central things that this lady seems to be talking about in repeating events from Brian's past is Brian's experience in Afghanistan. I forget what the town was where his experience was. Sodia, something that began with an S. Anyway, so then the episode kind of shifts and we start living through this flashback as Brian, who is unconscious, is also living through this flashback. And then we have Fanola and Maddox eventually shows up talking about what's happening to Brian. So we'll go into Brian's flashback first. Brian has a flashback to a time where he's in Afghanistan. He looks absolutely ridiculous with a beard that looks completely fake. And uh, he meets this girl named Asaya, I think. They form a relationship and a sort of bond. He cares for her. She has hope and he wants to protect the hope that she has because he himself is feeling quite hopeless and hasn't had hope in a long time. And she will tell them, Brian and the rest of the American troops there, where Amalik is. Now, Amalik is the bad guy of this episode. He's the reason why Brian and his team are there. Asaya agrees to rat out on Amalik if Brian will protect her and her grandfather. At first, Brian's like, no, it's too dangerous. I don't want to put you in danger. But eventually, he still doesn't ever agree to the deal. But he tells Asaya, because he cares about her, to run. He tells her and her grandfather to run up into the mountains and he'll find them when the coast is clear. So she and her grandfather are off to do that. And then she overhears that, the, that Amalik and the rest of his gang are going to attack and ambush the Americans. So she runs back to Brian, trying to warn him that the Afghanistan people are planning to ambush them. She gets caught in the crossfire, gets shot, and the poor thing dies. Right around the time where um, Asaya gets shot, in the real world, Fanola has the idea to do some sort of electromagnetic hyper babuchi blah in order to wake Brian up. And in essence, they are electrocuting the heck out of him. Oh my gosh. They are legit like trying to separate him from this poor woman uh, whose name begins with an M. But poor homegirl, poor Melamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanaman
he just lights them all up in pure anger and rage. Well, later on, we find out that those people that he lit up were not bad guys. They had something to do with the CIA and a CIA operation. I didn't hear that part. I missed it. But basically, Brian shot up the wrong people, and he ends up being arrested and going to jail. His crimes were war crimes, and he was going to go to jail for them. Maddox helped him out of jail. So that's the big mystery about what happened in Afghanistan to Brian. But anyway, the third biggest point is that outside of Brian's mental flashback, Finola starts putting pieces together and is remembering, now I appreciate this, she remembers that Brian was cloned by the debris a few episodes ago and is wondering if somehow in that cloning they downloaded his memories into that piece of debris and then they sort of uploaded it to some sort of network, right? And all of the pieces of debris are connected. Maddox makes the point while Finola is summarizing this that she also has encountered the Brie and they probably have her information as well. So I thought that was interesting that now we know all of the pieces of debris are connected. I think Finola says something like, well, we have our own network here on Earth, the internet, the interwebs, why wouldn't the debris? Now we know that pieces of Finola, pieces of Brian have been uploaded into what I'm gonna call the debris cloud. And that seems to be what happened to this woman who was spouting random conversations from Brian's life. She has all of his memories and they're now coming out of her mouth because she's been affected by a piece of debris. Now, let's talk about my review and how I feel about this. First of all, good job, debris. Finola is connecting the dots and we're referencing things from episodes that happened a while ago that had no context. We're finally starting to put those pieces together. So I can definitely appreciate that. That's probably the only thing that I can appreciate. <laughs> about this episode. Now granted, I think it was a fine episode. I was entertained, whatever. I think the issue to me is that Debris poses so many massive questions, right, in terms of the storyline and what the heck is happening that they take so long to answer that the audience loses their attention and just doesn't care anymore. But then also, they have all of these little holes in their stories that don't make any sense and they don't care to, you know, connect or make sense of. So that is also frustrating. Brian says at the end of this episode that the debris is experiencing us the same way that we, he and Finola, are experiencing it. Where the heck did that come from? How did he draw that conclusion? I don't understand. What? Blackwater grandfather. Did I say that right? Yeah, Blackwater grandfather. Who is that? Should I care about him? Who is that guy talking about him? Why are we in Arizona and what do these pieces of precious metal scattered to the north, south, east, and west have to do with anything? And I was like, okay, like I get it. You know, I've watched sci-fi. I've seen Marvel. I know what a secret ending is. But like, what does this have to do with anything? Normally a secret ending kind of points us in a direction that we kind of may have already suspected that we were going in. Once again, did I miss something? Am I stupid? I don't think so. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this whole Blackwater grandfather thing at the end of the episode. What? Maddox shows up in the episode to me seems, you know, relatively pointless. You would think he'd be able to give more information what with him having been there when this mission in Afghanistan actually happened. Nope, he doesn't know why the debris is uh, making Brian, you know, remember any of this. I'm like, you know that this is the cause that, you know, makes him commit the crime and puts him in jail. Maddox is like, oh yeah, I don't know, I don't know. What the heck? Yeah, so Maddox knows that knows about the injections and seems to be like being the person who's like, you need to get those injections. Still not clear on what the injections are or what they're for. I thought they would have something to do with Brian's experience in, in Afghanistan, but apparently not. So still have some mystery about Brian's history. <laughs> so you guys, that's everything that I have for Debris episode 11. Let me know in the comments what you think. As always, like this video if you like this video, subscribe, and click the bell so you can be notified of all things we sibs. Yeah, this was a weird one. It wasn't a bad episode. It, I just felt like there were a lot of questions, like every week. That's my consensus. Let me know what yours is in the comments. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Peace.